Whirlwind used late in the fight. Prosper Logic gets topped off. Still in the back, Storm Avatar looking for a couple of axes. Big double kill now from the victor all the way around the back line of Fatal Ambition. Big three kills, make it. Yeah, they're in a decent spot, I think, ultimate-wise. Some use towards the end, some not. But they will have some utility. Bring up Exodia on the Tyra, and it's, it's these kind of big moments. It, when you look at last round, you look at the mid-fight specifically, a lot of it does come down to the positioning Shadow was in and where Shoot Shoot was. The division of Shadow and Moonchopper. And, and capitalize on that. But Payne with the double, that's looking pretty good. They might actually be able to fight that out. He just switches targets to Chronix, gets that kill, but Jones is still pushing, and they actually managed to live still. A triple kill for Payne. Trying to follow up. They actually get the stun. The Sardom is a very good one. Right on the pan. They're actually able to look at Tay. Trying to take care of him. They make sure that he dies as well. Team back all the way in the back. And he's just going to get rolled right over right now. Not a bad aspect, but kind of opened up Madara for these big plays. A couple triple kills throughout this game. I think the way all business drafted this one was, was very smart. They grabbed that Cassie. And I think early on, they knew that they were probably going. That ultimate gets you to try and knock him back, but it is still not enough. Payan to the back gets rid of Rhino, but T-Mac goes down again. Payan has to try and contest the stun right onto him. The Thorner's really low. He's going to get taken care of. Edge of on the point, use the ultimate, but still, Kanga East. It's Grox. Skeppy as well finds a big shot. Watch out for that maze. Skeppy, a big double kill. Could help his team fight back into this one. Overtime begins the first Tempest of the game, but make it three for Skeppy. His 2-2 two -two dashes forward. Looks like to just be a little bit of counter. Delay as much of the flashpoint progress as you can. Double kill for good lad. I think Davizy just dodged rolled. <laughs> Moving forward. Constantly, you know, whether or not Hype Unit win here, lose here, whichever one. Oh, another one, one! You might end up in a good position that Console could keep on going. Both Go. of them putting the... This team in space station team. Ooh, that's a good sort of flank there from Freeze got Double kill, flutters in, makes it three. Ares is the one looking very, very low. They can put their attention towards the point now. Will Barrack have enough here to live? Oh, no. He seems to be living somehow. Yeah. The rocket boot saving him a little bit there. Shielding coming oh, through, no. and they don't manage to get the kill. Oh! Quadra kill. Are moving in tandem to be able to try and fight back. Moon's on the point with the Rhino and Jones together. We're going to be able to do a nice bomb toss by Evil Eye right there. Able to get that kill. A good stun from Luna as well. It's going to force Cuss all the way back. He's going to throw out the Pyre Strike and try and get the stun. It's not going to matter. Well, hit him right before it came up. No point, Tech. I don't know what Knights can do to hold this point. They don't have a DPS either. I don't even know if they have a chance to be able to defend against Kanga Esports as they push this one in. And and for them, 93%. Are they able to find any more? That's the big question here. Shadow rounding the corner. Double kill for the Bomb King. And look at how he's controlling this space. Bobby Bomb forward. Make it four. And the Bomb King is swinging for all five. Shadow popped off. Smartly here is Moonchopper. Overtime begins. Shadow with another kill onto Edge and Flashbang used. Flashbang, not enough value there. Two kills for Shadow, looking for three, and he's gonna find it. Yeah. He got the double kill. <laughs> we, we were just like, ooh, Edge yeah. and spicy, baby. Unfortunately, not quite enough for the hype boys, yeah. though, but shout out to him as well. Phenomenal plays as well. Right, yeah, once again. I mean, yeah, I mean, it, it was looking kind of like a little bit. Go either way. They need to find some kills. Simpson. Nice. Great shots by Invocal to get it. Also gets the OC. Nice so we're play a little safe. They canceled Bunny's dash. Midnight could potentially come out now, and it does. No scout to answer. Be gone. Doesn't do much of oh. anything, and Cuss goes down. Invocal's in the back, and so is Viral. They're able to actually get these kills. 93%. The Renegades had nothing, but now they're going to be able to have this overtime with a nice triple kill from Invocal, and they. A little early and Vocal nice. just walks in and finds Ricotta up top. Nice, and they're going to be able to take care of Simsalu as well. The good dodge roll, Shadow helping his main man out with a triple kill. And he's going to be able to get a Quadra as well. It's online for the Fury Roll. They're going to start having Carnot to the start of the round, which makes it instant 4v5 fights. And as we spoke about during the uh, death segment, that was amazing. Nicely played from back mechanic to, to be able to keep this one rolling forward. The problem was last time, Navi had just the right tools at just the right time to stop you. Yeah. Granted, you also had just the right tools at just the right time to get there. Right. I mean, this was a great play from Bunny, and I believe he still has his team. Will be, I think, that they do not have a complex map pool. About four that come to their name. But Moonchopper right now oh doing my. what he needs. That's three. Put Tinner on this Cassie. He's done so well on these backline DPSs. Really, really good as a backline DPS. 
And that's the thing, is that you have to be able to be careful when you're around this man. He's going to be able to have pop-off games, very, very exceptional, just... ...was growing for them to do it because of that reason. Moonchopper yeah. fills that role perfectly. You'd think they would be a great team at it. Well, as of right now, you can see, yes, they are, oh, but no. it's not really because of Moonchopper. Gormizer, I mean, we have been talking about Jeez. the Renegades for good... Trying to get him in that good zone. Most of the time, though, obviously top. Nice see play. What can do. I love that play. Takes the teleporter up. Seismic crashes down. Three kills for Shadow. And the last two for the Renegade. Going to kill him. If they're not going to kill anybody, is he able to get through? Do they know he's back there? Looks no, like Furia don't. is kiting backwards. They do see him there. Wait, they're not turning around. They're not turning around. They don't see him. They're still fighting on the front oh line. Bonker still mounted up to tie God. the game. The back door on Timber Mill. He's still mounted. NIP against all odds. Tie this up. All right, now show me a Renegades player game. Look, Crutzy does, but doesn't find its mark. Now we have the Anar going around trying to apply that pressure. But Rhino was already low. They take advantage of that. Crutzy with a double. Not one, but two, but three. Good shots coming out from the down with the assert dominance. This time it connects, but Rock Monkey in the back line finds the kill. Rubu staying alive, be gone. It grabs one, sends him away. But in the meantime, Team Envy are winning the rest of this fight. Rock Monkey continuing to go huge. 30 seconds left, Pittsburgh Knights still got a chance, but a triple. It's, it's crucial, and he used it a little early at the end there, but it was just enough carryover that you see Simzalu pick up a kill. Kind of like sparking in and out, right? He has these great moments where his name comes up and it's an, a crucial kill. And then he kind of disappears for a little nice. while. Nice, Simpsy. That's three now for the Mave. Just gonna get. But he doesn't have to charge up. He can survey the environment. Exactly. And then scope in to follow up the shot. You can line up your scope before you even press right click. You can have it centered. And it's little moments like that that would either end the round faster, keep them going if you're Envy. Rock Monkey, pretty much the reason they were able to get back to that but whether or not they were able to seal the deal there. Ancient Rage is out, but that's a setback onto himself. A second chance gets Rubu right back into the fight. But G-Bunny finds the flank onto Rock Monkey, who's hanging out back in that back line. A double kill from the Makoa. Make it three from G-Bunny. That's a big hook from him as well. We need to fight back on that mid. Dome Shield drop down now from Toki. He finds the first kill of this round, but it's a double kill from G Bunny. Puts the Pittsburgh Knights in a great spot. That's three now for. He knows the race is there. The fake fight goes out. Firing right down on the bonker. He cannot use that shield to shield himself up, at least vertically. Bender goes down as well. Pacheco with a double. He swapped targets to Diggy as well. A triple kill for him. And still. This tip world divider. NIP's gonna have too much of an aggressive chance. Already the midnight gets used again as NIP are steadily making their way forward. Joseph has to charge right back out, but a good street justice. The execution is there. They're putting on so much pressure. Nice daggers from afar from Alex. A triple kill to be able to follow that up as well. Alex is absolutely ultimate. That use it for damage. Managed to clean up a lot of the members of the team. You don't need all the kills, you don't need the glory. Knowing that is so important as a DPS. Be unable to contest, just constantly spam that one corner, lock it down, and who else is going to clean up on all that damage but the Mave? So much mobility, so much potential to chase the path to get here. You get in their face, you lock them in the base, and you make sure that payload gets as much ground nice as stun. possible. Nice stun. That's a beautiful stun. On to three members of NIP. Simpsy has three kills, looking for one more. Zarini takes. Ultimates now, Beacon sent through, through time and space, no good from Cus Cutie, he's melted down, suddenly Pittsburgh Knights, they're starting to fall here, NIP, they're getting the kills, Simpsy's gonna dash through, maybe over, set over time one last time, one more chance for him to get in, one more chance to reset this game, he is into the ice block, overtime melting down one last time, they're not gonna do it, it's destiny for...